Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Corona has not brought us down. Yes. Cancer and diabetes has not brought us down. Amen. Oh, we are still standing because Jesus is alive. Hallelujah. We therefore have every reason to give them. Amen. The Bible says in the book of Psalms, let us stand there, Psalms 105, Psalms 105, as we pray and invite our dad to come and speak to us, Psalms 105 from verses 1, the Bible says, Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, call upon his name. Amen. Make known his deeds among the people. Two, sing unto him, sing psalms unto him. Talk okay. him of all his wonderful works. Glory him in his holy name. Let the heart of them rejoice that seek the Lord. Seek the Lord and his strength. Seek his face evermore. Remember his marvelous works. That he has done his wonders and the judgment of his mom. All these seeds of Abraham is suffered. He children of Jacob is chosen. He is the Lord our God. His judgments are in all are. He has remembered his covenant forever. The word will be commanded to a thousand generations. Hallelujah. He has remembered. That word that he commanded, hallelujah, Jesus has come. So as we prepare to hear the word of God this morning, I want us to thank the Lord. I want us to praise him. Do it from our heart. The Bible says, give thanks unto the Lord for that which he has done upon our life. Hallelujah. Be it for the Lord. Thank you, Lord, for your goodness. We thank you, Lord, for your mercy. 
Let us get our confidence as you are seated and receive the greetings of
Amen. 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 Blessed are them that begin ends and begins with the Lord. Yes. If you are visiting us for the very first time, we love you. We appreciate your visit. We thank you so much for coming. And uh, we miss you and we expect you to by the way. So we thank God for you. I see Pastor Nancy and I guess all the from JCC people. God bless you and for being here. Can you appreciate that you all Amen. Amen.
right? Come. In the book of Genesis chapter 1, and so we entered the heavens and the earth. And the earth was empty. From the formless and void. We all, and for those who have been here, we ask, we understand. God created the heavens and earth in how many days? One day. Good. I thought you were going to say six. <laughs> God created everything in how many days? One day. Genesis chapter 1, verse 1. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. So what followed the rest of the days? Contrary to what we are seeing in country, it was arrangement. Let there be. What was created now? Let there be. Let there be. Let there be. Now, from verse 1, the Bible says, the world was empty and void, and darkness was over the deep water. And the Spirit of the Lord was hovering over the deep water. And verse 3, the Bible says, and God said, so, when the word say, when God say, things began to take shape. Amen. In every condition, you are about to speak. Yes. Now, listen. The Bible says, don't you know you are God's? And Jesus himself said that you, he is the vine. You are the branch. So the vine and the branch, they are one. The vine feeds the branch. The branch produces. So when the vine dies, the branch dies. Therefore, when the vine is moving, the branch is moving. When the vine is speaking, the branch is speaking. Therefore, as you declare today, whatever you shall be declaring, the heavens are declaring. And whatever you can do today, listen to me. Nothing ever happens in the kingdom until it has been decreed. Because God has given the power to pass judgment. That's why under grace we don't pass here. Part of the center, part of the which we have known. What do we do? We pass judgment. And the judgments we pass are final. Where the enemy has put a full soul, we put a coma, we continue with our journey, and we enter into the next level in the name of Jesus. Now, there are several things of travel. Some use cars, some use bicycles, some use aircrafts, some use motorbikes. They are all in some walk. So, in daily life, some are walking. Even as we stand here, as I talk to you, some are walking, some are flying, depending with the level of your dimension. But now listen. The worst thing you can ever do is to misbehave in a different means of gravity. My first time to go down the plane. I'm not using this for pride, I just want to use it as an example. I entered the, 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 the check-in desk. I gave them my passport and I showed them my ticket. Then one lady came and took my bag and said that this one you can carry along, give us this one. I said, no, it's my bag. They bring my bag. Bring my bag. So it was just like we were fighting. They said, sir, this bag cannot enter the the, the aircraft where the passenger sit. Can you give us your bag? I said, How am I going to get my bag? I don't know where you are going. You don't know where I'm going. So, how do I get my bag? Then, good enough, my dad was around and said, Hey, sir, last, give them your bag. <laughs> I lend them my bag. But all along my journey, I was pregnant in the city. That is your whole bag. That's the only bag. That has been my soul. <laughs> so please kindly make sure it doesn't get lost on the way. <laughs> Funny enough, on my arrival, as I was still looking around, I saw my bag coming. Now, I look so stupid. If I enter the aircraft with my bag, I'm sitting in the craft, yes, but my bag is still on my head. And I'm traveling, and they're selling food I don't want to eat simply because I'm holding what? Now, some people still don't understand what I'm about. Hallelujah. Yeah. We have been on a journey. Oh my goodness. Let me use another example before we become there. The worst thing you can ever do if you enter a swimming pool and you know how to swim and start drowning, you will never see a lifeguard coming to rescue you and then you start fighting with the water. They will wait until your stomach is full, you are drunk of water, you can't swim anymore. 
That's why they come and move to get you out. You have been struggling all along, all the years. You have been working all along. You have been working with your own efforts. Mm. The law was controlling you. Everything was about your work. All your success was based on how good you can do it. How best you know about your education. Remember what the Bible says. The rest is done for the spirit. For your information. Not everybody who is succeeding in life is sweating. Some are making new noise in the skin. So these guys, they are fighting. On my journey, I was fighting. Look at the disciples of Jesus Christ here. They are crossing over the sea to the other side. They have forgotten their own Jesus. But Jesus who understood what grace is all about. Jesus is behind the boat. Doing what? Huh? What was he doing? Sleeping. Sleeping. But sleeping is also healthy sometimes. Very good. It's healthy. Sleeping is healthy. Huh? Yes. So Jesus is behind the boat. Sleeping. But we will be the realm of the spirit. Any part of you have never conquered in the realm of the spirit, in the realm of the physical, it will defeat you. The poverty will not destroy in the realm of the spirit, in the physical, it will destroy you. The money you don't control in the realm of the spirit, in the realm of the physical, you will wash it down to it. And today we are here on a journey, we are launching into the realm of the spirit to arrive where we are supposed to be, not on our location. But on our position, where are we? We have been positioned. Where are we in position? We have been raised up together with Christ, sitting where? Sitting with Him in heavenly places. So you, as a believer, you live in two places. You live on earth here, and you live in the heavenly realm. There is no reason for us on earth that can, that can give you a permission to stay in life as soon as you understand you are living. You are living there. Amen. I gave you a story last time about my grandmother. Do you remember? Yes. Can you remember? Now, for those who are not here, my grandma was very smart. She used to prepare what we call sweets. You know sweets? Yes. You know them? Yes. Now, every day she used to prepare and hide them and lock the door. But Good enough since I was so small. One GB. I could penetrate through the ventilation of the house, sneak in, steal suck, eat and run away. So every day she used to come and complain. Some understood it by my, my sister. No one had beaten. No one had beaten. One day she decided to set up a trap. She came with some flour and poured on the floor. And left the house. So when she came in the evening, she discovered the sisters were missing. And she saw some footprints. Looking at the footprints very well, she discovered they belonged to me. Said, Now I know how not to drop this young man. So the following day, she said, Don't, tomorrow I'm leaving and I'll give you the key. If anyone ever enters this house, You'll be responsible. So by giving me the key, it means I'll be in charge of security. No one will enter that house. That was a wonderful trick that she did. That day, no one stopped. She knew what had happened. There's a young another man by the name Peter. Peter understood this concept. And Jesus came around and asked, Who do people say I am? Ah, some say you are Elijah, some say you are the other prophet, some say you are John the Baptist, some say. But who do you say I am? Peter, being very wise, he sneaked into the realm of the Spirit immediately and got the revelation. Ah, I know you are the Messiah, the Son of the Living King. This is the which I am born. One revelation that lands into your spirit today will be the end of your predicament, suffering, and affliction. Because every revelation of the Lord comes along with the power. Because the Lord wants to be seen from the king. You can never get a revelation of what Christ has done to 
like a cripple. The best thing for you to do is to move this child from this place and let his mind be renewed that this is not the only way of moving. You can still stand up with your feet and start walking. Some of us we have been moving, we have been crawling for so long. And the Lord says that it's your time to stand up on your feet and start walking. Do you know why? The Israelites, after walking with Moses for so long, Moses was a man of grace. Yes, he gave the law, but Moses was a man of grace. Let me make you understand. Moses was a man of grace. The reason why the law was given is because people demanded the law. But Moses showed them grace. God was with them. The more they complained, the more God blessed them. When they arrived on the Red Sea, what happened? Moses told them, stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. Don't move. They waited. The sea was open. During the day, whenever they were hungry, food came from heaven. Man. Whenever they were thirsty, water came from the rock that followed them. But they got a place, they got tired and told Moses, Hey Moses, we are tired of this. We want the law. Tell, tell God to tell us what you want, you want us to do. They demanded for the law. When the law was given, how many people died? Did he say that 
killing the light ones because his kids are not making so, so, so tired. Carry some of you. Did he say that carry some? He carry the others. We go together. No. What did he say? Come to me, all of you that do what? That carry, weary, and him. Let me. King James Bible says, Come out to me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I Lord, I will give you rest. Listen to me. And the grace, the Lord is prepared to give you rest. I want to repeat again. In 2022, we are about to enter there. Yes. The Lord is prepared yes. to give you rest. Yes. You don't understand what I'm talking about. Yes. You have never understood what it means by rest. Whereby every night you don't rest. There are people who don't rest because medicine is never there. They have a doctor's telephone number with them. They have some testing machines. You are becoming a small book in your own house. They don't sleep. Children are talking while they are walking. At night, they don't know where to go to. All your enemies have switched off their phone. Some have changed their phone numbers. Some have not even receive or pick your call. You try to look for them. No one is there. Your children cry in every area. This is the child of God. When you reach to your point and you cry everything, you can't do anything anymore. He is saying, Come to me. Yes. All you that are having puppet, I want to give you praise. The Lord understands. Now, do you know why when a life that when, why a life that has to wait until umelewa maji in the shield of the heaven to deliver you is because if he comes while you are still strong, you will start fighting him. Because when you, someone is dying, you hold on to anything that comes around. So as a result, you will not be able to save him. You may even kill him because what you are looking for is to come out. So what he will do, he will watch you. And until you are now, you, you are now on the flow of the swimming pool, then you just pull you up, you are, you, are, you are powerless, he takes you out. Some of you, the reason why, it has taken you so long for you to be delivered from whatever you have been going through, because you have been so stubborn. The Lord tells you, leave it alone, you are still holding on to it. Stop holding it, you are still holding it.
2022? Yes. In 2022? Amen. Yes. Grace is telling us then. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 What do you need to do, number one? Learn to depend on faith. Amen. In the new journey, strength is not required. Faith is vital. <laughs> now, this is where the problem is. Faith does not deliver what grace has not provided. You cannot enter a supermarket with money to buy a car. The, show, the, the supermarket attendant will tell you, sir, you have enough money to buy a car. Yes, there are no cars here. There must be a kind of supermarket who will get it if you have money. Faith is a currency. We used to purchase things in the kingdom, but we purchase nothing until it has been provided for by grace. What grace has not given to you, you are not qualified to have as a child of God. Yes. No matter the matter, grace must provide us. That is why Jesus provided for us. Amen. Okay. Going there. Faith will deliver that which grace has provided. As long as grace has provided your health, faith will reach out for it and we live in abundance. Amen. Amen. As long as grace has provided your security, faith will bring it to you. As long as grace has provided your security, faith will bring it to you. Amen. Amen. Number three. Number two. Number two, sorry. Number two, you need to believe in the supernatural. There are people who love believing only by seeing with their eyes. The things of the spirit are spiritually designed. In the realm of the spirit, even the blind can see the dark in here. The lame can walk. And the parent have children. That's why Isaiah says that you women who are married do what? Sing for joy because many are your children. Until you are able to believe in the supernatural, the things of the spirit, that's what we are here today. We believe in the supernatural. We believe not in that feeling. We believe in the supernatural. Supernatural. Listen to me. You might be here right now. You are seen as I'm preaching to you today. You are coming Listen to the child of God. Forget about it. Leave it alone. Yes. Believe in the supernatural. That's why here we don't write down resolutions. Yes. If you have a good resolutions with you, go keep it. They never come to pass us with resolutions. Yes. We rest in Christ yes. and wait for Him to take us yes. to where. And you know what? The Lord is my shepherd. Amen. I shall not. He leads me beside. Ah! We don't write resolutions. I used to write resolutions when I did that. When I did that, when I did that, 20, 20, 10, 20 resolutions. 20, 15 resolutions. None of them used to come to pass. Mm -hmm. I know you have written them. Uh -huh. How many have you written them? Go tear them down. Go tear them all. But in pastor, but the Bible says, write down your vision. That's not a vision. It's your ambition and desire. Come out of the flesh. Let the Lord direct you. Have you noticed? Anytime you write those plans, you don't know, I don't know if it's your achieving in life. You never plan for them. A miracle just came on your way and you achieved them. If you are here, you are planning to marry. You plan, you never marry. You never be perfect. You never be perfect. When you have money, you'll never be no. Commit your plans to the Lord. You shall do what? Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. That is the truth. In 2021, God is giving us the ability to rule and reign supernaturally. Amen. 
This is whereby we are made righteous not by our work, but by faith. Why? Because we are not we are not compelled by our doings, but we are compelled by the love of God. But listen to me, John. I want to speak to somebody prophetically in 2021. Yes. That in 2021, God's ability yes. is going to carry you. Amen. That people will not give respect to people that you are born again. Yes. I speak to somebody Amen. that the power of God will announce you yes. to your marketplace where you are supposed to be. Yes. Because Raya Kadama, because I feel in the realm of the Spirit yes. that the blessed, the Bible says in the book of Romans chapter 8, verse 19, that the whole creation is waiting for Oh, 
Noi ne-am fost fiind. Are you ready, guys? Are you sure? I am in position in Christ. I am in position. 
Then we enter into declaration of 2022. Yes. I can guarantee you, yes. it is well in the name of Jesus. Exactly. So the my leaders to be the prayer. Now, before, before them, put your hands down. Put your hands down. Put your hands down. Now, listen to me. Titus chapter 2, verse 11. Titus 2, verse 11. Titus 2, verse 11. Are you there? Let me read for you. Very important verse. See, it's the, the, the verse of the year. Titus chapter 2. Verse 11. Thank you, Holy Spirit. The Bible says, For the grace of God has been revealed, bringing salvation to all men. Salvation has two words, so so and so terrible, meaning being made whole. It's a package. Fully loaded with all that you need. And therefore, and therefore, you are here. Before, you had never encountered this grace. But now, you are saying in 2022, yes. you want to encounter the grace of God and not to give your life to Jesus Christ. Before we pray together, lift up your hand to pray with you. God bless you, 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 God bless you. Now, you want, you are giving your life to Jesus. Yes, you know your book. You must have a this time. I must encounter this saving grace. This saving grace. Your hands are made up. If you are lifting up your hand, God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Because the Holy Communion we are partaking of today, we are no longer into the suffering of Christ. Yes. We are celebrating, connecting with the victory we receive on the cross. Amen. Therefore, together with the online viewers, if you are watching us online and you're not born again, together those who are giving their life to Jesus, all of us let us help them by praying this prayer with, uh, with them. Say, Lord Jesus. Lord, Lord Jesus. Jesus. Thank you, thank you for the saving grace, for the saving grace that is available, that is available for me today. For me today, I've heard your word. I've heard your word. I acknowledge, I acknowledge you are the Lord, you are the Lord, the Savior, and the Savior. I give you my life. I give you my life. I give you my heart. I give you my heart. And my spirit, and my spirit. I welcome you. I welcome you into my life. Into my life. And I confess. And I confess that Jesus, that Jesus you died on the cross, you died on the for cross my sin, for my sin. You rose up again. You rose up again. And from that moment, and from that moment, I am saved. I am saved. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. I'm saved. I am saved. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Amen. If you understand what I'm doing, you'll be shocked. 
to God for it that he broke it and say take it this is my body which is broken for you this too is remembrance of me in the same way he took the cup of wine and the summer saying this cup is the new covenant between God and his people and I will be confirmed in my blood. This do in remembrance of me as often you drink it. For every time you eat this bread and drink this cup, you are announcing and declaring the Lord's death and resurrection until he comes back again. In Jesus' name, take the body of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, take the blood of Jesus Christ. In Christ Jesus, where we are positioned, We are victors in Him. Amen. Jesus opened His face before He died. And so came out. And Jesus made mankind from all the mental dysfunction. Therefore, I decree in the name of Jesus. Yes. 2022. Yes. From mental dysfunction, if you might be. Yes. And set up forever. Amen. 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 His tears were pulled out and let them come out. Signifying maturity. Yes. I decree and declare in the name of Jesus. Yes. That the maturity, spiritual maturity Amen. of the sons of God yes. is being confined upon you. Therefore, in the name of Jesus, I shall find you. As a king, giving you the mandate to become the king, yes. and him as the king of kings, making you the head and not the tail. I declare in 2022, you are becoming the head and not the tail. Amen. You are becoming the king of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. The battle of Jesus was open when they went to him, and blood came out under the strength of Jesus Christ. Of Calvary, Jesus, by the blood of Jesus, the believers were hidden in Christ. Yes. Therefore, I decree and declare yes. in 2022 yes. that your body yes. shall move and stay yes. in the upper of the man. man in the name of Jesus. Amen. The house of Jesus was opened with the name of the cross and blood came out. The house is turning from the power of authority yes. and the blessing of the Lord that he might declare and be free. Yes. No curse from hell will be for you. Yes. No weapon from passion against you. Yes. Spiritual or physical. Yes. No lie. Look yes. at you negatively. Yes. No sin yes. or look at you negatively. Yes. No Yes. I'm giving you the power and the ability yes. to move into inheritance yes. and 